Guys, get the metal up. These are the guys that are doing it right here. They look good. It's gonna look good. Can't wait to see the end. It's gonna look good when we're done. Can't wait. That's Carlos. Carlos Santana. <laughs> guys, we're fixing to go in there and check on them. See how they're doing. Check on y'all, man. Okay. Oh, yeah. Looking good. See that, yeah. Isn't that awesome. Very cool, man. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, guys. Whatever time y'all are tuning in, I certainly appreciate y'all are here. Today, guys, I'm gonna give you an update on my uh, knife shop, and we're gonna be opening up two packages. There's two major things I got done this week for the knife shop, and we're gonna go over those. I'm gonna show you a little tour. And uh, I'm also going to, again, be opening up two packages. One is all the way from uh, Keystone Heights, Florida. And the other one is from Evansville, New York. So can't wait to open these up and uh, see what's inside. So we're going to be opening up one from Florida first. I want, a little, want to do it a little bit different tonight. So I figured I'd do it in here in my new knife shop with a new sealing up. You can see part of it right now. It looks really good. We're just gonna dump this stuff out real quick. Wow. Check all this good stuff out, guys. Ooh, look at those. Nice little craftsman here. Screwdrivers. Let's read the note first. Hello, Kevin, AKA Knife Doctor. My father, Jonas, enjoys watching your videos. I'm his daughter, Savannah. Well, how about that? Appreciate this, Savannah. He loves watching your videos so much, he's forcing me to write this letter. <laughs> well, I'm, I'm so sorry, Savannah, but thank you for that. Uh, so he can watch your videos. He loves watching after a long day at work, but that is awesome. Really hope you love these knives we found at various flea markets. It took him forever to choose, so yeah. <laughs> My family is Eskimo from Alaska. Wow! Well, thank you for this. That's appreciate you sharing this I love this but we moved to Florida because we got sick of the cold I don't blame you I don't do too well in the cold either now we're baking in the heat hot weather yes it's been hot it really has have a blessed day Kevin me Savannah Jonas my dad my mother Ashley my sister Brooklyn my brother James looking forward to your next video the main family what well, uh, Savannah Thank y'all so much. Hill Jonas, I appreciate him watching my channel. Uh, thank y'all for this. It's really made my day. I uh, appreciate this. I really do. Uh, this is so cool, y'all. Very cool. This is from Savannah. How about that? That's so awesome. Uh, wow, this is so cool, y'all. This is a, uh, check that out. Ain't that awesome? Very cool. Thank you, Savannah. One ounce. Oh my goodness. This is a silver. This is silver, it says. One ounce, point nine nine five silver, limited edition. Winchester model, 1873. The gun that won the West. How about that? That's one ounce of silver, y'all. Ain't that awesome? Savannah, thank you so much. Jonas, thank y'all. Love that. Hear that? It's silver. So cool. Thank you so much. I'll cherish this forever. And actually, this is going to be in one of my display cases here in the knife shop. Thank you so much. Love that. And with that right up under it. How about that? So cool. Thank you so much for that, Savannah. Now, here is some old hickory paring knives. How about that? Isn't that cool? Another one right there. Ain't that awesome? And another one. How about that? So cool. I'll clean these up. Got three of them. Thank you. Thank y'all so much, Bannon and Jonas. Love this. You got some scales for Victorian Ops. Very cool. 
And again, you got uh, a bunch of screwdrivers, Craftsman. I always use these when I'm, for well, a lot of things. There's several of them here. I think it's awesome. I love these little Craftsman screwdrivers. Thank y'all so much. I love these. Love it, man. And we're fixing to unravel the knives here. Very cool. Wow, this is a, looks like a Uncle Henry. No, Queen. Oh my goodness, y'all. That is a Queen right there, y'all. Ain't that beautiful? Jonas, buddy, thank you so much for this. I don't believe I've ever seen one like this. This is so awesome. Savannah, Jonas, family, thank y'all so much for this. I love it. Man, that's a nice knife. Hear, ooh, hear that snap. <laughs> Y'all hear that? Listen to it. Ooh, boy, that ain't a weight snap either. <laughs> I love it. Man, beautiful, beautiful knife. Thank y'all for this. Ooh, a Zippo. <laughs> oh, man. Uh, yes, sir. See it right there? The Zippo. Ain't that cool? stainless steel and it's got a uh, jp rogers cranes so there's a crane company y'all advertising ain't that awesome thank y'all so much for this blade don't even look like it's ever been used y'all so cool <laughs> man this is so nice oh a gerber i can already tell what it is a gerber got them finger grooves it's usa made too Yes, it's a Gerber 500. See that right there? Portland, Oregon. Ain't that awesome? See that right there? Very cool. Love that. Lock blade. Great condition. Thank you for that so, so much, y'all. Another Gerber. Look at that. <laughs> Ain't this awesome? USA pocket clip. See that right there? Gerber. Portland, Oregon. It's an easy out. USA. I'm sorry. Ain't that cool? Lock blade, too. That blade's in excellent shape. Look, look at that. Ain't that cool? Thank y'all so much. Oh, Victorian Ox. Lord have mercy. Wow, this is so cool, y'all. Man, but you've got your main blade, your uh, can opener, a little flat tip screwdriver, small blade, flat tip screwdriver, and it's got your uh, bottle opener, wire stripper, uh, leather punch, no sewing all, so it's got some age to it, and it's got your uh, corkscrew. And of course, it's got the best tweezers that money can buy anywhere. Right here. Victorian Ops's tweezers are the best. It's got your toothpick, of course. Thank y'all so much for this. Love this. I love these knives. Okay, and then you got a, I think this is a climbing tool. It's got a broke spring. Let's see what it is. Mm, it's Imperial. No, it's Cutmaster. Cutmaster, see that? Cutmaster. It's got uh, a messed up pin. It, it, it needs a pin. It needs another spring. And here's some more part knives here for a, uh, a Camillus right here. Very cool. Electrician's knife. And I do have the springs for this, or the pins. I can repair this. Thank y'all for this. There's a bunch in this little bitty box. That's what the box come in. That's what the stuff come in, guys. Right here. <laughs> Very awesome. And they said hi right there. Ain't that awesome? Beautiful family, Jonas. Beautiful family. Thank y'all so much. 
Okay, here's some more guys. See here? It's amazing. Check, check out that little bit of thing right there. Can't read that right there. I usually use the camera to do it. Can't read it. There it is right there. Hoorah. Very cool. Oh my god. The Alex. Small. The toy nuts, y'all. I don't have one of these. It's got your main blade. It's also got a little flashlight. Yes, yeah, your thumb drive. How about that? And it's got your uh, your scissors. I think it needs some uh, a spring, which I have one. That's pretty cool there now. Never seen one of these before. See that right there? It's 512 megabytes. It's a half a gig. It's pretty cool. Very nice knife. Thank you for this, y'all. Love that. Ooh, check that out. I'm gonna say it's a case. Is it a case? It is a case. And that is a uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. That is a 2000, y'all. Year 2000. Ain't that cool? got initials there. Very cool. That's a very nice knife. Lock blade, stainless steel. Love these. Very cool. Great little EDC. Very slim and light. Oh, okay. Here are the scales here for this little Victoria notch right here. See right there? Victoria. These are the scale for it. All I gotta do is put a little glue on them and pop them back on. Very cool. That's awesome. Thank y'all for this. It's a book. I ain't gotta open it. I know. It's a 501. See it right there? 501 book in USA. Ain't that cool? Nice and great shape. Ain't it? Beautiful. Lock blade. Very cool. Then we got, I'm going to say, a Colonial. Man, I can't read it, y'all. Can't read it. Very nice knife, though. It's a little stockman. Ooh. <laughs> springs. That spring bite got my finger. That's some strong springs in this thing. I need to get my loop. What I need to do. I don't see any markings on that whatsoever. But it's a very good knife. Even that snap. Very cool. Thank you for this. And then we got a little pocket knife, fingernail knife. It's got a uh, fingernail blade or flat tip screwdriver or bottle opener. And it's got your, probably a main blade, yep. And it's got USA on it right there. See it right there, USA. Ain't that cool? I love these little things. Great for keychains. Very cool. All right, we're down to the last one, guys. And it's a Zippo. It's a Zippo. Ain't that awesome? So 2004, it's so December of 2004. All it needs is fluid. You know what we're gonna do, right? Okay guys, we got some Zippo fluid. And we're fixing to add some fluid to this Zippo. Go. 
Jonas, thank you for this. Savannah, I appreciate you writing the letter. And I appreciate your whole family telling me hello. Uh, thank y'all so much for, for, for the gifts, the knives. Thank y'all so much. God bless y'all. I really appreciate this so much. Thank y'all. This letter means a, a very special to me. And I love this silver. And it will be forever on display here in the knife shop along with from Savannah. So thank y'all. Thanks, Savannah, for writing the letter for Jonas. And they sent those knives and gifts all the way from Keystone Heights, Florida, 246 miles away from Ellaville, Georgia. Savannah, again, thank you for writing that letter for Jonas. Jonas, I appreciate you watching me all the time, buddy. Th appreciate you supporting the channel. God bless y'all. So now, guys, we're fixing to open up one all the way from New York. And that is from Ellenville, New York. How about that? Greetings, Kevin the Knife Doctor in Ellenville, Georgia. From some kindred souls in Ellenville, New York. Irony of the same names. Not lost. Hub of some serious knife-making history. My name is Larry. I have lived in Ellenville, Ellenville for 16 years. I previously left a few comments on your most enjoyable videos. I was born in 1962 and my wife of 33 years was born in 1970. That makes us of an age. I grew up in Charlotte, North Carolina and I have been a knife collector since age 15 in 1977. My first job in 1978 was working for my grandfather's pawn shop stocking the knife counter. How about that? Sadly, the Schrade factory closed in 2004, four years before I moved to here. There's a remnant of the deep knife making history in the area in the form of some local knife makers and the war scene historical society and knife museum. They have been around for several years. They are open from Memorial Day weekend through Labor Day. I just paid them a visit and gave a plug to your wonderful, enjoyable YouTube channel and told them your location. Some of the kind folks there have seen some of your videos and enjoy them. Well, thank you for sharing that, buddy. As stated above, the irony of the place names was not lost. I asked the folks at the Knife Museum if they had any broken knives, parts, etc. laying around that they could spare for the cause and a possible plug in your videos for what they are doing up here to further the knife collecting history and hobby. They most graciously provided the items in the two brown boxes. One is some miscellaneous parts and the other, I am told, is a proof sample all of this from the Schrade Knife Factory was located in Ellenville, Ellenville, New York that closed in 2004. Guys, how about that? Larry, thank you. It's amazing. Amazing. I got a piece of history right here, guys. The rest of the goodies are from my own stash. These were all hand-shaped by me. Please add them to your own collection, use them for auction or any other good use. Also included in the envelope containing this letter some material on the Knife Museum. Perhaps you can include in one of your videos a link to their website. I'll do that in this video, buddy. I want to mention my by I, I want to mention by name the very kind and helpful curator of the Knife Museum, Eric Albers. He provided the items in the two brown boxes was previously employed in the knife industry up here and currently operates one man museum I'm sorry one man custom cutlery shop and I'll share that with y'all too is alberscutlery.com I'll put that link in the uh, video description also I want to give a mention and thanks to Aaron Pomerantz museum president I hope I said that right it's Pomerantz Aaron Pomerantz museum president you seem like a kind and gentle soul, and your warmth and sincerity comes through on all of your videos. Thank y'all for that. Warmest regards. God's continued blessings for you and your family. Thank you for your service, our country, and these most enjoyable videos. Larry S. Ellenville, New York. Larry, buddy, thank you so much for this. 
it's just amazing guys but here is the information on the the Warsaw pause the channel and just write that information down go check them out there it is again knife museum cool stuff man thank you so much Larry, thank you for all this. Love it, man. Cool. Check this out, y'all. A Zippo. Kind of nervous. Whoa. Check that out, y'all. Ain't that awesome? Brand new. Still in the box. Never been used. June of 2000, guys. Ain't this awesome? Love that right there. Very cool, man. Love that. Thank you for this. Check this out, y'all. Oh, man. Check that out. See the little elk there or the deer? The brass down here on the sheath? Ain't that awesome? Whoa. That is a solid in Germany, y'all. Original Buffalo Skinner. Check that out. See what I see right there? And you got solid in Germany right there. Ain't that awesome? It's got a broke tip right there, but I can take care of that. This is beautiful. And that's real stag right there, y'all. Ain't that beautiful? Yes, sir. A repair will be coming on this real soon. Love that right there. It's got some age to it now. Wow. There, thank, thank you for this, buddy. Got a Victoria Knox right here. See that? Victoria Knox? Without a winger. That's a winger, I'm sorry. You got a main blade. Flat tip screwdriver. Bottle opener, wire stripper, can opener. That's a lobster claw. See what that looks like a lobster claw right there. You got small blade. And you got a saw. How about that? So cool. And you got a corkscrew right there, of course. And you got a punch blade. Very cool. Thank you, Larry. Love this, man. Oh, man. Another Zippo. Check that out. Wow. Oh. Ain't that cool? Awesome. Never been used. See that? That is a uh, January of 2003. See that right there? January of 2003. Look at that, y'all. Another Zippo. Eat, ride, sleep. How about that? Never been used, never been opened. Check that out. And that one is a uh, A, B, C, D, E. That's May of 2004. See that right there? Ain't that cool? Very cool. There. Thank you all so much. This is a, ooh, I'm going to say a K-Bar, a K-Bar, K-Bar, I love that right there, I don't have one of these, ain't that awesome, very cool, awesome, razor sharp too, all it needs to be cleaned up. I love the jipping on the back of that blade. Awesome, buddy. Thank you so much for this. Bobby Dollar Shray. Check that out. Another orange. That's so cool. Check that out. Shray. 
And that is a uh, SP3, what they call it. All it needs to be a little cleaned up some. A little lock blade. So cool. Light, and slim, and great little EDC knife. Well, this is a buck. See it right there? A buck. Buck light. 422. I love them finger grooves. It's awesome, ain't it? Beautiful knife. I don't think it's ever been used that much. Ain't that cool? These are good knives too. They really are. I even think I got a sheath for it. Ain't that awesome? Thank you, Larry. Now guys, we are gonna get to the history of the place. We got the two brown boxes left. I saved probably the best for last. I'm gonna open this one last. This sound like the knife parts. It is. Comes straight from the factory, guys. That's what it looks like right there. See that right there? That's original wood from the factory. It's a scale. Check that out. Dude, this says Hammer Brand. Wow. Yeah, I'm gonna say this is that two year knife. I might have to uh, go get my book. The date will be right here. Check that out, y'all. This is a knife that never was finished in the factory, I'm assuming. Never had scales on it, and it's from the 30s. Kid you not, guys, according to that stamp tag, see it's got patent pending right there. This is old stock, guys, a knife that never was finished in the Imperial factory. Ain't that awesome? This is. Larry, this is so awesome, really. Thank you so much. And you got the uh, this Shrade right here. See that? Shrade USA. This is gonna be on display right here. And you got that right there from the factory. Whoa. That's cool. It's got some type of design markings on there, guys. See that right there? Ain't this cool? And you got a blade blank right there with some more markings. got a blade blank straight from the factory more blade blank from the factory see that one go isn't that awesome yeah piece of a knife here the handle without the scales with, with the bolsters amazing Larry Thank you for this, bro. Thank you so much for this. Okay, guys, now we'll fix to open this one up. Whoa, check the pattern out, y'all. This is a roping knife. Wow. Check that out, y'all. What did he say this was? 
it's a proof sample. Proof sample of a knife from uh, Schrager. How about that? Ain't that cool? That was gonna be like a seat foot blade right there. So cool. Check that out, y'all. That's a beautiful knife too. I wonder what design that is right there. Cause I would really like to have one. Let's see. 175, it's got 175 on there. I'm gonna look this up when I get into the house. Shrade 175. Ain't that awesome? Larry, thank you for this. Thank you so much for this. This is so awesome of you. And thank everybody from the museum for sending me all of this stuff here. It is so awesome of y'all. Thank y'all so much. God bless y'all. Larry sent those knives and gifts all the way from Ellenville, New York. 1,030 miles away from Ellenville, Georgia. Larry, I appreciate you sending all these knives and gifts, buddy. I appreciate all that stuff from the museum, man. All, of, all the people that work there. Thank y'all so much. Wow, guys. So that's what I'm talking about, guys. It just amazes me. I got a desk full of stuff here. And uh, it just amazes me every mail call. Every mail call is just amazing. And I just want to thank all y'all for this. Whew, it gives me goosebumps, guys, that uh, y'all think enough of me to send me stuff like this, you know? It's just amazing to me uh, so much. I just want to thank each and every one of y'all. And I mean that from the bottom of my heart. It's just, uh, it's just amazing what my channel has evolved into. And I just want to thank, it ain't what I do, it's what y'all do. Y'all are the one that makes my channel so special. I'll never forget that. Uh, but thank y'all so much. Thank y'all. Larry. Thank you, Jonas. Miss Savannah for writing the letter for Jonas. Thank all y'all for... Uh, Jonas, thank your family. And uh, just thank y'all for supporting me. Thank y'all. Anyway, guys. We're fixing to uh, go around the... Uh, shopping here and i'm going to show you what's been done today uh, we got a big milestone done and uh we also got something done the other night that was a big milestone they're going to finish it up january or not january first july first which is monday tomorrow right no no tomorrow's the 30th monday they'll come in here which is uh two days from now they're gonna which tomorrow this is sunday's video so it is tomorrow <laughs> I get so confused, guys. I'm so sorry. Um, but Monday, they're coming in here to finish the job up, and I'll tell you what that is in just a second. Hey, right, guys, look here. Look what they did. They got it all done today. Ain't that something? Don't that look good? See here? Looks awesome, don't it? Very cool. Check the bathroom out. See, so they cut around the light. They cut around the vent here. It looks good, don't it? Love it. Sure do. So much so. Bucky likes it, so we're good to go. But next thing we gotta do, guys, is paint. So we're gonna be going to pick out paint Monday. And we're going to be rolling it on the walls this next week. I got to trim out the windows. Sure do. I got to trim out that window. And I got to buy a blind for that window. So it's going to come together quick now. Got to get that thing out of here. And uh, rearrange, get some of this stuff out of here. And rearrange this stuff, build some shelves. But once we get it painted, we're going to go ahead and move in here. We're going to be opening up packages and cleaning knives in here and uh, slowly put stuff up on the walls and stuff like that. So 
It's gonna be nice, it really is. Guys, what happened this past week, fiber optics was ran to this building. It sure was. So we got fiber optics all the way up to the building and uh, the internet people are supposed to be coming out here Monday, which is tomorrow for the video. They're gonna be coming out here and we're gonna have one gig per second. How about that? So we're gonna be able to do lives out here. We're gonna be able to do the auctions out here. It's gonna be awesome. So uh, it's just a lot of good stuff that's happening, guys. And I just wanna thank each and every one of y'all for it. Y'all are the ones that make my channel. I'm not lying. Um, appreciate all the support, all the views, all the subscribers. Thank y'all so much. Thank y'all. And uh, But lots of good stuff is gonna be, be happening here real soon, guys. Uh, I'll be doing lives again maybe once a month or something like that. Uh, so it's gonna be fun. It's gonna be fun. Uh, we're gonna have the internet that's gonna be able to do it very well. So uh, can't wait to get that going. But uh, yeah, but that's the update. We had two milestones to happen this week. So uh, now we just gotta get it painted and we'll get that done here real soon. Anyway guys, thank all y'all for tuning in tonight. I just want to say God bless y'all. Until we meet again, guys. Y'all be like a good night. Stay short. Sun's just peeking as they hit the road. Hunting for the steel that's waiting to be honed. Roaming from the city to the countryside. Looking for the blades that others left behind.